Hey everyone, Mayhem here, coming to you live from the Discord Dimension with another episode of Mayhem's Question Reviews, where today we'll be reviewing. Oh, I think I just knocked something over. Uh, uh oh no, turn off the camera, turn off the camera, turn off the camera! Okay, I have to be honest, I am not. A super powerful alicorn that controls the discord dimension. I was lying to you guys. I decided to come clean So who am I really? I'm still the son of discord, but I'm just a pegasi And I am not the all-powerful ruler of the discord dimension ruling at discord right hand side In fact, I haven't seen him in a while I wonder where he went But back to the episode I have decided uh, I've decided to come clean St uh, I was pretending to be the all-powerful commander of the discord dimension uh to be my internet persona but i decided i'm just gonna be the real me and uh just be honest so this is the real me D uh, mayhem the pegasi son of discord still pretty cool though but let's get into this episode now that i'm done giving you my whole life story so this episode sees it. welcome to mayhem's equestrian reviews where today we will be reviewing my little pony friendship is magic season one episode 17 stairmaster so what did i it, what's a brief plot slapsis of this episode well the uh, sweetie bell screws up a bunch of rarity's dressmaking supplies and sweetie bell at rarity's house is going to have a sleepover for cutie mark crusaders to crusade for their cutie marks and uh, but rarity says oh since you messed up my dress it's gonna take all night for me to fitness this and so therefore i cannot hold the sleepover for you and the cutie mark crusaders are all sad but luckily a uh, flutter size there the check on rarity uh and flutter size like i'll take care of them and rarity's like eh, i don't know can you really control them and uh Flutter size like, I can control animals just perfectly. This'll be a piece of cake. Ha 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 ha. Oh, how wrong she was. So she go, they go to their house, and they just terrorize her completely. Uh, they just terrorize Flutter Sigh. She can do nothing to get them to go to bed. And uh, eventually, she gets them to go to bed. But one of the crusading activities they've done is they chased the chickens around, uh, chased some of Flutter Size chickens around, and one had escaped. The Cutie Mark Crusaders see it out the window, and they go out to go find the chicken in the Everfree Forest. Dun dun dun! And another thing that happened in this episode was that uh, Twilight, at the beginning of the episode, said she was going to find Sakura to get some magical recipes and stuff from her. So she's in the evergreen, uh, ever free forest too. So they go into the forest, and uh, Fluttersight follows them, looking around, and she sees Twilight. And she's like, "Oh, hi, Twilight! Can you help me? I lost the people I was supposed to be babysitting for the whole night." And she goes up, and <gasps> dun dun dun! Twilight has been turned into stone, and. Uh, uh, Fluttersigh gets super scared, and she says she knows what it is, and it's called a cockatrice. And she goes and quickly finds the Kitty Mark Crusaders and tries to get them to, to escape. She then says that a cockatrice is a creature with the head of a chicken and the body of a snake. Dun dun dun! So the Kitty Mark Crusaders say it's not going to be scared, and they find the chicken. But they also find the cockatrice. <gasps> and the cockatrice like totally scares them. And they just run in circles just screaming, scared and stuff. And eventually the cockatrice catches up with the four of them. And Fluttersize like, get behind me. And uh, she gets in front of them. And the cockatrice starts staring her down, starting to turn her into stone. But then Fluttersize gets pissed. And what, as you may know what a pissed Fluttersize does, she starts staring at the... Uh, the uh, cockatrice so hard that it actually breaks the cockatrice's uh, concentration as he, he's turning Fluttersigh into stone and it scares the cockatrice so much that Fluttersigh has power over him to force him to uh, free uh, free the chicken that he turned to stone and free Twilight Sparkle and then the cockatrice runs away so what did I think about this episode well, I really liked how they introduced the stare. Aw, oh, the stare is so cool. It's such an awesome power. Fluttersigh is so cool. It's another episode where Fluttersigh gets pissed and things get real. And as you know, episodes where Fluttersigh get pissed, they're always a really fun time to have. It's really awesome to see Fluttersigh, who's so passive, 
become aggressive against people. It's just a sight to see. And saying that I really like about this episode, it's how the characters are portrayed. Now, saying I've always thought about the series is that uh, the ponies, uh, the main six, are a little, sometimes a little immature for their age, and the Cutie Mark Crusaders are a lot of the times uh, acting kind of mature for their age. So I just thought to myself, the uh, CMC might as well be part of the main six because they have a nearly identical uh, maturity and like smarts level. And like rarely does it ever really portray the ponies being super responsible and adult is And it rarely portrays the Cutie Mark Crusaders being just kids, not like young adults, but like kids like they really are. But this episode, it did that perfectly it showed the responsible side of fluttershy how in addition to being kind of childish in a lot of episodes the main six can be responsible adults and it showed the childish side of the cmc like the cmc when the cockatrice came out yeah, they they weren't brave like they normally would. They were a- acting pretty brave in the rest of the episode because they were children. They didn't understand the danger. But once the cockatrice came, they started screaming and running in circles. So uh, that's what a child would do. So I'd say that's a really good p- thing of character development that happened there. And it was overall, it was a pretty funny episode, especially like the part where just uh, the CMC were just screaming because of the cockatrice. It was pretty ridiculous. I know hearing little girls scream would usually not be a funny thing, but in this case, like, the way they did it and how they're just running in circles instead of trying to, like, escape, it's just kind of funny to watch. And another part I like was how Sweetie Belle was, uh, bleh, how uh, when they were trying to put the CMC to bed, uh, Fluttershy was starting to sing a lullaby, and Sweetie Belle was like, oh, I know this, and she started singing it like a pop song. Hus, now, quiet now, lay your sleep ahead. Hus, now, quiet now, it's time to go to bed. It was pretty freaking ridiculous. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, how the, she just took a really calm lullaby and just turned it into a pop song, basically, like a pop rock song. And just, like, uh, it was funny how they were just, uh, just, like, defeating Fluttershy in every attempt that she was doing to try to get them to calm down and stuff. It was pretty funny. Now, and it comes to downsides, there actually wasn't really any major downsides that I could think of when I, uh, I watched the episode, and I could say there was nothing that made me angry, nothing that made me pissed. Uh, Twilight Sparkle wasn't dumb, because how could she have known that there was a cockatrice in there, uh, and so she was just, he wasn't acting dumb. And I'd say that nobody really angered me. Even uh, Rarity, who's usually the most angering person in the first, like, three seasons. She was very responsible, and she was it was very reasonable why she had to cancel the sleepover. Because Sweetie Belle had screwed with her dresses and fabrics and stuff. So it actually, her side of the story made sense, which I find to be a very good thing. So... But even though there weren't really any bad things, the episode wasn't super memorable. I find this very hard to rate because I just went from two episodes that I didn't like, Fall we- that much, Fall Weather Friends and Suited for Success, to two episodes I absolutely loved, Feeling Pinky Keen and Sonic Rainboom, and then I'm back to one in the middle. And I don't. It's hard to rate after going through four episodes four weeks of going through like extremes to go back into the middle but saying that this episode kind of uh, saying that hurts this episode is that it is not super important like uh to the series it one it kind of establishes the cutie mark crusaders characters but not that much probably the uh, it kind of does them as a whole uh, builds on the idea of the CMC, but doesn't like single them out as individuals. It doesn't uh, uh, grow on their individual personalities and stories. So that's kind of a downside. And uh, uh, so it didn't build on the characters too much. And the main thing it built on for the main six was the uh, Fluttershy can use the stare, but the stare didn't need to be an entire episode on its own. I think we saw some of the stare in Dragon Sai a little, so we didn't really need it a whole episode just dedicated to showing us the stare. So that did hurt it some. Uh, it's just not super important to the series, and 
uh, it could have been more. They could have made it like build on the world of Equestria more, but all we got was the stare, a little bit more about the CMC, and the cockatrice, which it some episodes have built a lot more. Like uh, Sonic Rainboom built a ton on the world with uh, Cloudsdale and everything. The Young Flyers competition, the Sonic Rainboom, the bullies that bullied Rainbow Dash, all of those things, the, rain, uh, the Rainbow Factory, all of those things built on the world of Equestria, but this one didn't build too much. But other than that, like, if you take it for what it is, it's an entertaining and fun episode. And for that, I'm going to have to give it 3.75 stars out of 5, because it's a good episode, but it's not really a super important episode, so I can't give it any more than four stars, but I still recognize it's a pretty good episode. So what did you guys think? Do you think my rating is good? What uh, Do you like this episode? Do you not like this episode? What do you think? Leave a comment in the section below to tell me what you thought. I hope you like this new setup I have. This will probably be the permanent setup. This is probably... This is the second time I've completely changed my setup, and I got a new microphone, so it's quite nice. So, until next time, I'm Mayhem, coming to you from wherever the heck I am now. And goodbye!